dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello everybody and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Grandma Pat. And we're very happy that you're with us. Hey Grandma Pat, before we start talking about all the colors we're going to talk about today, should we sing? We should. All right. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? Remember, you don't have to just clap your hands, clap whatever you like. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I do want to hear a story. So Grandma Pat, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, look at all of these. Oh, what are they called? They're all different. What They're are, different colors. They are different colors. Do you have a favorite there? Mm, I always tend to enjoy green. I Which you're wearing, wearing today. You're I wearing am wearing green, green in honor of green. Yes, and we have a book about, well, I'm not going to tell you about no, it. No, we'll get the back. Yeah, it'll be a nice surprise. That's right. And I am wearing brown. And later on today, friends, we're going to talk about what you're wearing too. Oh, that'll be fun. So, Grandma Pat, mm -hmm. I know there's something special about the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is kind of a dark blue, and purple or violet. What's special about those colors? I know the answer to that. What is it? After it rains, sun shines on droplets of water and creates a rainbow. That's amazing. And those are all the colors of the rainbow. It is astounding, friends, how many colors surround us in any one day. Maybe you could take some time later this afternoon and see how many different colors you can find just around you, wherever you're at, because that's a really fun thing to do. So Grandma Pat, do you have any good books? I have got excellent books about e color. Excellent. Miss Tracy, our first book today is about Rainbow Hands. Are you curious about what rainbow hands are? I'm excited to find out. This is by Mam Tinani, and the, uh, it's illustrated by Joe Loring Fisher, and it's brought to us by the publisher called Lantana. Okay, here we go. Play time, study time, nap time, Snack time, story time. The days stretch on and on forever. I like all the different times of day, but my favorite time is painting my nails time. I color my nails in the many shades that Ma has in those magical bottles. She has one for every mood and feeling. When I wake from a lovely dream of magical fairies and faraway lands, I paint my nails in the color of mystery, a perfect purple. On the days I look at myself in the mirror and wonder, hmm, what shall I be today? I paint my nails in the color of possibilities, an infinite, white.
when I walk into the garden and spot velvety bees dancing from one smiling sunflower to the other. I paint my nails in the blinding color of the sun, a brightest yellow. That is so pretty. There are days when the sky looks just like the sea. The fluffy clouds come rolling wave after wave. Then I paint my nails in the color of the sky sea, sea sky. A swirling blue, look at those nails. In the afternoons when I play ball, dig in the dirt, or pick up worms, I paint my nails to match the mess and the squelch, a mossy green. On some nights, I gaze at the distant lights from the window of my room. They look like warm stardust sprinkled on the cool night sky. Then I paint my nails in the color of their shimmer, a glowing orange. Look at those nails. At times, Papa frowns and says, what have you done to your nails? At other times, he says, why don't you paint on paper instead? It's fun painting my nails, I want to tell him. It makes my hands look beautiful. When I can't, I feel hot in my head. I paint my nails the color of fire ants, a flaming red. There's his red polish, his red nails. But when Dadadja, my grandpa, hugs me and says, you're my colorful child who I know will shine bright, I paint my nails in the color of the softest cotton candy, a sweetest pink. And on those crazy days when I feel sad, happy, angry and dreamy all at once, then I catch a rainbow on my hands. All of the colors. There, we have rainbow hands. Story time, friends. Grandma Pat, yes. are you ready for a flannel board? Love it. All right. So today, my friends, we are going to pretend that our blue flannel board is the ocean, or it's a lake, or it's a river, or it's a pond. What do all those things have in common? Yeah, they're filled with water. And we are not going to just talk about the water. We are going to talk about what swims in the water. That Can you fun. guess? That's right, that would be fish. And we're gonna talk about very colorful fish and they're gonna be swimming in the water. So when we sing about a fish, we're gonna swim them in the water and then they're going to blow bubbles. Sometimes when you're fishing and you look down over the boat, Every once in a while you see a little bubble pop up. And that's from a creature that's in the water. And that is where our fish are gonna be. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna swim the fish in the water, and then we're gonna go bubble, 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 pop. Okay, here we go. We are gonna start out with one. What color is that fish? You got it, that's a red fish. Here we go. 
One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! Do you pop your bubbles? <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Okay, now we have one little red fish also in this water. We happen to have two, one, two. What color are those? That's right, those are green fish. Here we go, should we sing for them? Two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! Oh my goodness, all of those popping bubbles. All right, you ready for another fish? Where is that one? That is a blue fish. I had to make them a little darker than our water because then otherwise we couldn't see them very well. Do you want to count them with me? One, two, three. Here we go. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! Okay. Do you think there's room for more fish in our lake? Or our river? Or our ocean? Or our pond? Let's see. How about these fish? What color are these fish? That's right. They look yellow. Ready to sing about some yellow fish? How many are there? One, two, three, four. Here we go. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Yeah, I think we have room for one more kind of fish. Let's try to get these fish swimming. What color are these fish, my friends? That's right, they look orange to me. Oh, good man. I'm glad they're small because they just fit all over. How many orange fish are there? Let's start over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do it again, but let's start over here. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, it didn't matter where we started, did it? We always had five orange fish. You ready for this one? Okay, let's do it. Five little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little orange fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! Bubble, 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 pop! And there we go. That is a lot of fish. Thanks for playing. Now, Miss Tracy, we have a book called Blue Versus Yellow by Tom Sullivan. What does versus mean, do you think? I think it means that they're facing each other in a competition. I think so. I think they're going to have some sort of a contest. So we have the color blue versus the color yellow. And we know that Tom Sullivan wrote the book and illustrated the book and the publisher is Harper Collins blue versus yellow look at that Tom Sullivan like that have you heard the news blue is the best color it says blue is the best 
Yellow, not as good. Uh-oh. Nice try, but everyone knows that yellow is the best color. Look at all of the things that are yellow. Look up and see for yourself. Blue is the color of the whole sky. That's funny. All I see is a bright yellow sun. Well, blue is the only color that has its own music. It says the blues. Sure but the instruments are yellow. And if you're blue, it means you're sad. So what? If you're yellow, it means you're a scaredy cat. Speaking of cats, the fastest animal in the world is yellow. But the biggest animal in the world is blue. It's a blue whale. And to top it off, all the best food is blue. Blueberries, slush, cotton candy, popsicles, gummies, blue food. I'm not sure I'd even consider most of that food. Yellow food is much better. Lemonade, popcorn, apples. Do you think of apples as yellow? Bananas, cheese, french fries. Plus, there are yellow birds, bugs, bikes, and all sorts of things. Well, those can be blue, too. Birds, bugs, bikes. They all start with B. That's interesting. Well, the coolest cars are yellow. Don't forget about big blue trucks. Ooh, they're really going fast. Uh oh, I see a problem coming here. Zooming yellow car, zooming blue truck. What's gonna happen? Boom. I think they're okay. Let's check. Whoa, what happened? There's the blue, or the yellow, ran into the blue, and now it's, we're, we're green. How did that happen, Grandma Pat? Oh, wow. Look at all the cool stuff we can both be. Look at this. Yellow and blue crashed together and made green. I wonder if that happens all the time. Do you think it does, Miss Tracy? I do. I think if you had the color yellow, then the color blue, and you mixed it together, you'd get green. Look at all the stuff we can both be. A green alligator, a green snake, a green praying mantis, Dragonfly, watermelon, pear, lizard, butterfly, uh, kiwi, money. Look at that. Look at all the things that can be green. Okay, truce. Blue and yellow are the best together. Um, excuse me. Oh, we have red now. I think everyone can agree red 
is the best color of all time, hands down to infinity. Look at all the things that are red. Blue versus yellow versus red. What's gonna happen? Look, the end. They made part of a rainbow. There we have contests between colors. Hey, story time, friends. Grandma Pat. What? You ready to wave a scarf? I am so ready. All right, I'm gonna have Grandma Pat the green scarf, oh, and it matches her green clothes. And it's Teacher Missy's scarf. I love it. And I'm gonna use the red scarf. So out of your story time kit, I would like you to find a scarf or a sock or a paper towel or a washcloth or anything that you have to wave. And we're gonna start with our scarf warm up because I like starting with something that we all, excuse me, did you hear something? One second. Of course. Story time friends. Giraffe would like to be our story time friend today. Hello, Grandma Pat. Hi, Giraffe. Hello, story time friends. I'm so excited to see you. We're very happy to see you too, my friend Giraffe. All right, Giraffe, we're going to start out with a scarf warm up because it's fun when we all know something together. You guys ready? Here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf goes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 woo! Do you like wooing at the end of that? I do too, my scarf kind of goes wherever. Ready to do it fast? I am too. My scarf goes up, my scarf goes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 woo! Look at that, my scarf went flying on my woo. I like flying my scarf because it's easy to catch because it comes down slow. Now, um, if you remember at the beginning, I said that we were going to do something, and it turns out it's a scarf song about what colors you might be wearing. Remember, I'm wearing brown and blue, and I have some green in my shirt too. Grandma Pat's almost all green. She's very green on top today. Mm -hmm. But I want you to look at what you're wearing. And you have a job to do. I want you to look at all your clothes and think about all the different colors you're wearing. Because when we sing about your color, I want you to stand up, turn around, and sit back down. And we're gonna start with the color red. So I want you to look at your clothes, and anybody who's wearing any red, you are gonna be standing first. And this is how it goes. And the rest of us are gonna be waving our flags, or excuse me, our scarves. And then we're going to be turning them around when somebody who's wearing that color stands up and turns around. Here we go. If you're wearing red, if you're wearing red, stand up and turn around if you're wearing red. Did you do that? How many people were wearing red? A lot of you were wearing red. All right, let's do some other colors. Remember, if you're wearing that color, I want you to stand up, turn around, and sit back down. If you're wearing blue, if you're wearing blue, stand up and turn around if you're wearing blue. Nice job. If you're wearing green, if you're wearing green, stand up and turn around if you're wearing green. Did you see Grandma Pat stand up and turn around? Because she was wearing green, wasn't she? All right, let's do some other colors. 
If you're wearing yellow, if you're wearing yellow, stand up and turn around if you're wearing yellow. How about this one? If you're wearing orange, if you're wearing orange, stand up and turn around if you're wearing orange. If you're wearing white, if you're wearing white, stand up and turn around if you're wearing white. Oh, here's an interesting color that you don't see often in clothes, but sometimes it's there. Do you know the color gray? Anybody wearing gray? Sometimes people have a gray sweatshirt, maybe. Here we go. If you're wearing gray, if you're wearing gray, stand up and turn around if you're wearing gray. If you're wearing black, if you're wearing black, stand up and turn around if you're wearing black. Here's kind of a popular color. If you're wearing purple, if you're wearing purple, stand up and turn around if you're wearing purple. How about one more? I know. If you're wearing pink, if you're wearing pink, stand up and turn around if you're wearing pink. I hope everybody had a chance to stand up, but let's pretend that I missed a color. Let's pretend that somebody's wearing something that I didn't sing about. So let's say if you're wearing any color, that means everybody gets to stand up again. Here we go. If you're wearing any color, if you're wearing any color, stand up and turn around if you're wearing any color. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of work. Ooh, Thanks I'm for tired. playing. Oh, story time, friends. Brown Pat, I had such a good time today talking about colors, colors. and all the colors that surround mm -hmm. us every single day. We talked about painting your nails different colors, and our little friend here liked to paint his nails based on what mood he was in and how he felt. And that's a really fun way to make your hands like rainbows. And then blue versus yellow. What? That was quite a contest. It was. What happened when blue and yellow collided? What happened? They turned green. That's right. Because if you have blue and yellow, that makes the color green. If you have yellow, and red. If you put those together, what do you get? I know. I what, know, Grandma I know. Orange. You orange. get orange. And there's a lot of different fun ways you can mix colors. Like for instance, if you take red and you add just a little bit of white to it, can you imagine what color you'd get if you had red and add a little white? So pretty. I think you'd get pink. That's right. So next time you have your paints out, or a watercolor box out, or even sometimes you can do it with crayon if you kind of do it lightly. You can do a little mix with crayon. You can make all sorts of beautiful colors. It's so fun. But now I think it's time to say goodbye. Oh, really? Yeah. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Find some pretty colors.